good day students in this video i am going to explain to you how to use the solubility tables curves and scales that you find in the solubility booklet on board ships so first and foremost let us start with this slide all hydrostatic data that you find are based on four conditions whether they are in your curves scales or tables they are all based on these four conditions first they are always based on hydrostatic draft of the ship what is hydrostatic draft that i will come to in my subsequent lectures second that the vessel is floating in salt water that is its relative density of the water is 1.025 third the vessel is in an upright condition and fourth the vessel is on an even keel so let's go to the curves i will go into presentation mode to explain this better Let us say you have to find hydrostatic data of this ship MVJ at a draft of four meters. It is very easy because the graph is already made for four meters. On the y-axis you have the graph in meters, and on the x-axis at the bottom you've got data for MCTC, which is moment to change stream by one centimeter. TPC, KB, AM transfers, and AB and AF. AB and AF mean the center of buoyancy from the aft perpendicular, that is AB, and AF is the center of rotation from the aft perpendicular, that is AB. On the top of the x-axis gives you KM longitudinal as well as the displacement of the ship. So we draw a line. Going from left to right at a four meter mark, and we now drop perpendiculars either to the bottom or to the top, depending on which value we want to be. So let us first start with TPC. The TPC curve meets the four meter draft mark line at this point. You drop a vertical down, and you take the value. Let us say this is between, as it is between 21 and 22, it is uh, 21.7 metric tons per centimeter. Next, we take the KM transfers. This is your KM transfer curve. This is your KM transfer curve, and we. Read the value from here to be about 9.75-9.8 meters. Next we see is the MCTC. The 4 meter line cuts your MCTC curve at this point. We drop the perpendicular down to, uh, to let's say this is working out to 158 ton meters per centimeter. Next we go to is the KB, and for KB this works out to around 2.2 meters. Thereafter we go to AB, and that works out to we have to extrapolate since this is greater than 72, so that works out to about 72.1, and 7 and AF works out to about 72.2. Meters. Now we go and see the displacement. The displacement is at the top. This is about 7,700 metric tons. And finally, we see the 
in longitude that which is from this point going up that is about 315 meters. Now what would you do if you were at all to find all the values for 4.75 meters? The best way to go about it is measure the distance using your ruler between 4 and 5, between 4 meters and 5 meters and then mark off for 4.75 meters by interpolation. So, having marked off 4.75 meters on the left hand side and on the right hand side, draw a line joining these two points. And once again, we start to read off all the values from all these curves. So, since we are at the KM transverse curve, which Okay, here it is. The pointer is here. The KM transverse curve is working out to, we have to extrapolate, this is working out to 8.9 meters. Next, we go to the TPC curve and that works out to 21.95 metric tons per centimeter. After that, we go to the MCTC curve and that is 164 tan meters per centimeter. Then we go to the K meter over here and that is 2.2 meters. Next is your A meter which is 72.05 meters and AF curve also quite close by is 72.1 meters. Thereafter, we go for the displacement. Thereafter, now we go for the KM longitudinal from this point on upwards, that is 265 meters, and finally, we come to the displacement that is 9300 metric tons. So, this is how you will read off from your curves. Now we come to the tables. How to read off from the tables. If you were to read off for 4 meters, it is given straight away over here. You can just pick off the values for 4 meters. Displacement will be 7708 metric tons. TPC will be 21.6 metric tons per centimeter. MCTC will be 137.8 ton meters per centimeter. AV is 72.008 meters. AF is 72.127 meters. KB is 2.147 meters, KM transverse is 9.660 meters and KM longitudinal is 309.9 meters. But if you were to find your values for 4.75 meters, you would have to interpolate between 4.6 and 4.8 meters. So 4.6 meters the displacement is 9013 and for 4.8 meters it is 9451 metric tons. At 4.6 it is 9013 metric tons, at 4.8 it is 9451 metric tons, thereby giving a difference of 438 metric tons. So for 0.2 meters, let's see the calculator. <coughs> For 0.2 meter difference, we have 438 metric tons. And therefore, for 0.15 meter difference, how much will that be? So, 0.15 into 
0.2. That will give us 328.5 which now has to be added to 9013 because we took the reference 4.75 minus 4.6 giving 0.15. So we add that to 9013 and we get your displacement at 4.75 meters to be 9341.5 metric tons. Likewise, you can in, you have to interpolate for all values from left to the right. That is displacement, TTC, MCTC, AD, AF, AD, KM transfers, and KM longitude. If you were to find for 5.423 meters, you have to follow the same process. So for 5.4 meters. It is 10,777 and 5.6 meters, it is 11,223. So let us see how much would that be. So we have 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, minus 1, 0, 7, 7, 7. 446 metric tons. So for 0.2 meters, that is 5.4 to 5.6 is 0.2 meters, the difference is 446. And the difference between 5.4 to 3 and 5.4 is 0.023. So for 0.023 meters, how much would be the difference? So multiply by 0 0.023 divided by 0.2. That would give us 51.3 metric tons and that you have to add to 10777 plus 10777 which works out to 10828.3 metric tons. Hence we see that the displacement at 5.423 meters, the, hence we see that for a draft of 5.423 meters we see the displacement at 1028.3 metric tons. Remember, this is in salt water and this 5.423 meter draft is your hydrostatic draft. Likewise, you can interpolate and find all other values. Now, what do we have over here? The next one. For metric tons, 10126 metric tons, we have to find the draft. How do we do that? So let us see 10333 minus 9891. Okay, that is 442. So for a difference of 442 tons, we have a difference of 0 0.2 meters. Therefore, how much is the difference between 10126 and 9891? 109235. So for 235 tons, how much will be the difference in draft? So 235 into 0.2 divided by 442, which gives you a difference of 0 0.106 meters. Hence, for the displacement of 10126 metric tons, the draft is 5 meters plus 0 0.106 which gives you 5.106 meters plus 5 gives you 5.106 meters. In this manner, you have to interpolate and get all the other values for 10126 metric tons. Similarly, you have to interpolate and find all values for 11,728.3 metric tons. Let's go to the next slide now. And you can use this slide for practice. You can use this table for practice and find all the values for curves 4.75 meters and for tables 4 5.4 5.423, 10126 and 11728 metric tons. Remember one thing. 
remember one thing always that the values that you get for curves, your values and my values or even your colleagues values need not be the same. There will always be some difference because of interpretation. But all values that you calculate for it from by using tables have to be the same. Yours, mine, your colleagues, everyone must get the same values in this table. But when you are using tables, hydrostatic tables for calculation. Next you go to other scales. These are the scales for MV Hinship and they are found in the Hinship tables. Here we have to find values for 5 meters, 6.5 meters and 6.85 meters. Now the values that you can find over here are for meters you can find displacement in salt water of 1000 kilos that is metric tons. Here also you can find this moment to change twin by 1 centimeter and TPC immersion, tons per centimeter immersion. In tons per centimeter immersion, please be careful because you have two columns. One is for centimeters, another is for inches. So please read from the correct column. So if we were to take for 5 meters, we draw a line 5 meters on the left hand side and 5 meters on the right hand side and connect them. Thereafter we can start to read. So when we read over here we have to take from this side and that works out to 9500, 600, 7, 9800 metric tons. Okay? Then we see for moment to change twin by 1 centimeter. 165, 166.9 ton meters per centimeter and we see for TPC that works out to 22.08 metric tons per centimeter. Likewise you have to find for 6.5 meters and 6.85 meters. You can use this table to enter your values by scales for 5 meters, 6.5 meters and 6.85 meters. Now, simple problems, you can please write them down and find the values, find the answers by using the curves and uh, hydrostatic curves of MV VJ. Okay. The problem is that at a draft of 3.5 meters she has a kg of 9.34 meters and you have to find her GM. So from the curves and the tables you have to find her KM at 3.5 meters and we know that KM minus kg gives us GM. So please make use of this table over here and find the values of uh, Km from curves and tables and thereby calculate the Gm from by using curves and tables. Similarly, I have one more problem for you. Here you have to use hydrostatic tables and you have uh, hydrostatic tables of MVBJ. You have to find her GM. If at a draft of 6.24 meters, she had a kg of 8.24 meters. And you also have to state thereafter whether she is in stable, neutral or unstable equilibrium. So using the hydrostatic tables, you have to calculate the KM for 6.24 meters, enter the value here. You have got the kg of 8.24 meters, you enter the value here and you get the uh, gm and you get the km at 6.25 meters. Once you get the gm, 
for 6.34 meters, if it is in the negative, please enter the correct statement, whether it is stable, neutral or unstable, if it is positive, please enter the correct statement, if it is zero, please enter the correct statement in this box. And with that, we end this uh, lecture on interpretation of hydrostatic data, be it from tables, curves or scales. If you like this presentation, please give me a thumbs up, share and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you and goodbye.